Candidates for a Georgia U.S. Senate seat today faced off in a debate, polls showing a close race between the Republican incumbent, the Senator David Perdue, and Democrat John Ossoff. 11 Alive's Doug Richards has more for us tonight. This was a debate showing the Democrat and the Republican clarifying some stark ideological differences while at the same time trying to reach undecided voters in the middle. But first, let me thank the Atlanta Press Club. And Republican Jim Senator David Perdue mentioned President Trump only once in the 60-minute debate, but said this. His radical socialist agenda. A half dozen times about Democrat John Ossoff. We can see you reading from your notes that your staff has prepared you. And the question was about this COVID-19 pandemic. In the virtual debate for Purdue's U.S. Senate seat, Ossoff reminded viewers that Purdue has backed the president consistently from the economy to the pandemic. You assured us the risk to our health was low and compared it to the common flu. The quote that you're giving there is totally misleading. So what I'm telling the, the viewers tonight is you left off the back part of that where we also said that you need to take this very seriously, and we did. Rebuttal, Mr. Ossoff. Senator Perdue, look up from your notes and answer the question. Do you believe President Trump has done everything in his power to protect the people of Georgia during this pandemic? I absolutely do, John, and I'll tell you this. Had the Democrats been involved, we'd have anarchy like we have in Portland and Chicago and California. Shane Hazel, the Libertarian candidate, made a pitch to the undecided. Ladies and gents, if you're sick of this kind of stuff and you want principled consistency, you're not going to get it with these type of politicians. The Libertarian candidate is an extreme long shot to win, but if he can prevent Purdue or Ossoff from getting a 50% plus one vote majority in November, there could be a runoff in January.